Haters are damaged dreamers. Would anyone who's on their way to the best version of themselves, who's achieving, who's growing, who's so focused on their goal have any time to shoot your dreams down? Who are these people that are hating on you? Who are they? Usually, they're the ones who went, tried, failed, got told that they couldn't do it, and now they're just passing it on to you. The reality is it's probably from a positive intent with these people because subconsciously, what they're trying to do is keep you at their level because it scares them to see you strive for something they never did or other people haven't done. But all progress, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. Because if everybody was reasonable and stayed within the confines and just did what everyone expected they could do, there would be no progress. There would be no growth. There would be no expansion. The world's counting on you. It's counting on your gifts, your calling. Whatever's coming upon your heart. I see it inside you. I believe it. You gotta believe it. Haters are damaged dreamers. They're people that shot for the stars and got shot down by others. They're people that didn't have other people rooting for them. They didn't believe in themselves. And so they failed. And so to, for them to think that you could achieve what they could never do, mm -mm. so what's the best they can do? Make sure you don't achieve it. What's the best they can do? Hate on you. They're damaged dreamers. They're scared. They're scared to see you elevate. They're scared to see you elevate. Haters are damaged dreamers. I've had so many times where people told me I couldn't do it. There was one time I was walking in high school. I was walking through the hallway and the basketball coach saw me. He called me over. He knew I wanted to go play division one football. He called me over and he looked at me and he said, he was talking about this guy that had played at my high school before and went D1 as well. And he, his name was Taylor Loeffler. And he looked at me and he said, does anyone compare to Taylor Loeffler? Because see, what had happened was the week before, the coach wanted me to play up on the varsity team. I was in 10th grade. Wanted me to play up on the varsity team. I said no. Now what's he saying? Does anyone compare to Taylor Loeffler? Does anyone look like him? Does anyone move like him? Basically looking at me and saying, you're not going to do it. You're not like him. You got no chance. Why are you going and training? Why are you going to the gym instead of coming and working, working out with us, playing on the basketball team? Didn't believe in me. Guess what? I use it as fuel. Because haters are damaged dreamers. And guess what? I've gone on to accomplish all these things that I want to accomplish, and I didn't let that get to me. I didn't. Don't let it get to you. I'm speaking to the one percenters. I'm speaking to the people that have a dream, that are willing to take action. Don't wait. You only get one life. Why would you waste any energy? You get one life. Every single moment is sacred. Life is made up of time. And so if you love life, then use time wisely and don't waste it. Remember, haters are damaged dreamers. Don't let them get to you. They're just shooting you down because that's all they know. They're scared. They'll never understand because they don't want to. And you do. You're searching for the answers. You're seeking. And you're going to go make it happen. I believe in you. Haters are damaged dreamers. Don't listen to them. Block it out. Block out the noise.